You were mentioning about how, uh, essentially, Jesus wasn't like a, you know, a pushover of a person. Right. He was very much a rebel against the government. I hang out with prostitutes and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but from the way you were talking about it, you th it, it made it sound like he he was approaching politics in a way that was like politics are inherently corrupted. Well, I think politics are inherently corrupted because human beings are inherently corrupted. So, yes. So That's why Jesus went after them. You remember how he said in Matthew 22, he said, you neglect the weightier matters of the law. You're tithing your spices, but you're neglecting the weightier matters of the law, justice, faithfulness, these kinds of things. So, yes, he went after them. So, if you think politics corrupts religion, how do you feel that America was primarily a Christian nation? I don't think America was a Christian nation because there's no religious test for um, office in America in the federal government. There were in the state governments, but you didn't have to be a Christian to be an American. And the, the laws of the land weren't based on the Bible. They were con maybe consistent with the Bible, like many of our laws are now, thou shalt not murder, steal, these kind of things, right? Um, but Jefferson actually started a country based on the moral law, not necessarily based on the Bible. Even though the two are congruent and agree quite a bit because they come from the same source, Jefferson and the co-founders wanted to have a government where you had God-given moral rights without the intolerance of a sectarian religion. And so he set up the perfect government to do that. Now, unfortunately, we're getting away from that now. So, um, but historically, a majority of the presidents were Christian. Right, well, it's, it was Christian by description, not prescription. You didn't have to be a Christian, just like today, you don't have to be a Christian to live in America, right? Or to, even, or to run for office. Yes, but there's still kind of a unspoken sort of push towards, mm, are you not Christian? Do we really want this person in office? Well, that's because a majority, a dwindling majority, but a majority of people are Christians, and in our country, in order to get elected, you've got to appeal to them, right? That's true. Generally. But, but there are districts where that's not so, right? Like if you go to the district in Dearborn, uh, Michigan, you're probably going to be a Muslim because that area in Dearborn, Michigan is predominated by Muslims. In fact, Keith Ellison is a Muslim from Minnesota. So, so how they, do you feel about people kind of abusing this idea of Christianity I guess to push their own beliefs. Well, what do you mean by abusing? What do you mean? Like, what, well, give me an example of what you I mean. I mean, like, people who use Christianity to hide some of the awful things that they've done and promote themselves as a better person, person because they are Christian. Well, you'd have to give me an example because I think all people do that, whether they're Christians or not. We're all fallen. That's why we all need a savior. None of us go out there and broadcast all our dirty laundry. Well. A lot of people, like, there was a fair amount of Republicans who believed that Obama was Muslim and apparent, and like. Obama was what? Muslim. Or he wasn't born in America uh -huh. or all this other stuff. Okay. And so I never really heard an argument against him other than the fact that he wasn't Christian. Or maybe he wasn't born here. Well, we're not really here to, I'm not supporting or not supporting a particular candidate or former president, so that's not really the point here. But if there were some Christians out there who thought that Obama wasn't a Christian, that's, it's a free country. They can believe that, right? They can investigate whether he was born in this country or not, and people have, and people argue over whether that happened or not. It's all water under the bridge at this point. Um, but if you're going to say that Christians have done evil and wrong things, let me be the first one to agree with you. And I, as a Christian, I'm embarrassed by that. But that's true of all groups. There are Muslims that have done awful things. There are Hindus that have done awful things. There are atheists that have done awful things. We're not really talking about necessarily today how people behave. Today we're talking about um, what's the true worldview that there's evidence for. And Christians should behave properly 
because out of gratitude of what Christ done, has done for us.